every time, and we've heard this now for, for three weeks about uh, we have to look at this, and you had mentioned this to, to Representative Mosser at all, as well as that we, and, and Representative Killing, that we have to look at this comprehensively. Mm -hmm. uh, and every time I keep hearing this, that we have to look at the budget as a whole. It's a, it's a comprehensive thing that we have to look at it all together. I am somewhat confused. Are, are, does that mean is this an all or nothing type of thing? Are we willing to sit down and talk about breaking things up and looking at what's you know, what's appealing to some and what's not? Because every time I keep hearing that it's comprehensive, it makes it sound like it's not being able to, to, to be compromised on. I, I think what you're, what you're hearing the governor say is that we have to look at the budget holistically. That, that if we don't create a more competitive business climate to grow new jobs and growth, then even if we balance the structural budget deficit for the next fiscal year, that we're probably, when we look at in the longer term, going to see that um, the success of that effort undone. If we aren't providing a quality education for all of our students, that we're going to pay a long-term cost for that. That, that as you heard the governor say on budget day, he welcomes a conversation with all members of the general assembly. And, and that's uh, and, really and all I'm asking. And, Are we going to have a their, conversation, or is this? And their input to to further shape the governor's proposed plan, but but it's his strong recommendation and hope that we will address all of these. Um, aspects of his budget proposal in full so that we don't have the kind of piecemeal solutions that have taken us down the path that we followed to this point. Thank you. Thank you.